how do you define pop art? I've thought about this question quite a bit since um, since I've been asked. That's a tough question. Sorry, this is a really long answer. Well, we all know pop art emerged from the 60s and draws inspiration from sources in popular and commercial culture. For me, it's the bold design and simple use of color that really engages the viewer. I mean, when I first think of pop art, I automatically think of Andy Warhol and Liechtenstein. And that's kind of like the pop art guys. I mean, there's a lot more than that, obviously, but pop art to me, and it's kind of what we had talked about is there's a satire to it. I mean, all of Andy Warhol's, everything he did was poking fun at the whole art industry, really. Um, I mean, his studio was called The Factory, for crying out loud. And it was just like, how much can we produce and how quickly can we do it? Pop Pop art, really, it always goes back to the half tone, where it's a mass production technique and like Liechtenstein or, you know, Warhol stuff like that that has half tone in it. Um, and, and I've always kind of, again, uh, as being a screen printer, you know, how far can I push an image in, in half toning where it actually represents what it was? That's kind of what it means to me. Uh, kind of define pop art as the visual version of pop music, because it's kind of, it kind of just consumes everything that's happening currently at any given time and spits it out into something that's a little off kilter or a little odd in some way. And I think just like pop music, it can also, you know, include sort of timeless uh, elements. Sort of the idea that like you can, you can write a pop song with just a piano and a million people will love it. You know, you can start with something so simple, something as simple as a sign that was meant for a payphone and turn it into something that uses that information and sort of makes it pop. So I think of pop art as uh, art that talks about simple everyday subjects we come across in our everyday lives. I like that most of the pop art that we see is bright, colorful, it gives people joy. It is art that resonates with just about everyone and not only people who are pursuing it as, you know, like a discipline. I like the bright colors, the straight hard edges, the lines the illustrations. To me, it's simple art that talks about simple everyday things with an interesting twist. That being said, I did glance at the definition of pop art before going into this, unfortunately. So I, I know that the definition said, you know, it's kind of played on popular culture and plays off commercials or large commercial work. When I hear pop art, I think bright, I think vibrant. Sometimes I think mockery of different large brands. And sometimes it even makes me think where it did originate back in the 50s and 60s and some of those older artists and everything. How I define pop art, I would say it was like anything of popular mainstream genres of culture that can be altered into a subculture of art. You have obviously like soup cans, you have comic strips, right? And then like propaganda you know, all that kind of thing. So yeah, anything that can be altered from a mainstream into a new genre of, because art is, art can transform into something, you know, so. Having a graduate and master's degree, I can give you the sterile, cold academic answer. Um, well, to be less less anal about it, it's in a sense things that reference, comment upon, uh, rearrange, morph, criticize, enjoy uh, anything that would be Popular culture, advertisements, anything that's, you know, entertainments, anything that's about selling you something or when you buy something or entertain you, that would be, in a sense, pop art. You know, when you think of pop art in general, it's more so uh, bright colors, everything's large and, you know, just in your face. And so when it pertains to, to my style of work, I would say pop art just grabs your attention. You know, when you see certain things, you have pretty much a kind of a mellow opinion about it or, you know, it makes you, it's a little more stoic, but I think the main thing about pop art is that you instantly kind of know what it is. And now you just form your opinion around it and say, okay, what exactly was he thinking? Um, why do I have such a brash opinion towards it? It's like, okay, I see what he was going for, but why? And so I think pop art is more so of just, I think it's, it's literally in the name, pop. It just, it grabs your attention without you having to, uh, having to think too much. Uh, pop art. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's funny coming from somebody who's uh, taken APR history. I'm actually uh, drawing a blank here. I'd say for pop art, uh, there's popular art by definition. But when I think pop art, though, I think like uh, you know, like you know, a lot of Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and the stuff that you know. I mean, it has definitely inspired us to a degree. You know, you got like. You know, uh, Crash, aka John Matos. You know, he was inspired by Lichtenstein. 
you know, and of course everyone knows about the collaborations between, you know, Warhol and Basquiat, you know, I'd say for us writers, man, like, uh, you know, pop art, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a good, uh, a good partner at times, you know, the, the, the ally art, you know, pop art to me is, it's bold, it's expressive, it's to the point you can play with it you know what i mean you can be on the fun side of things you can be imaginative you know it has a little bit of familiarity to it you know what i mean there's there's some elements that people will be able to pick up on it and be like hey i resonate with what's going on in that picture or just to give me a little bit a little emblem or just a little glimpse into something that people are just familiar with uh, i think pop art is digestible it's like easily recognizable and then it's consumable by the masses so whether that be like a culture a region an era or a time that somebody exists in like it's understand by a huge group of people um it's like a shared kind of kind of value or aesthetic or um moment in history or impact it's exciting it's approachable and in a lot of ways i think it's relatable the simplest line drawings anyone is able to access it from any kind of level. I think a lot of times people feel scared of art because they feel as if they don't understand it or that they can't access it in a way that they hear other people or influencers talking about it. Whereas pop art, anyone can gravitate towards it. Pop art is almost like a moving spirit. Everyone touches it and anyone can grasp and encapsulate and continue to move that energy towards inclusion. Oh, geez. Um, I feel like pop art is sort of like a, pop art like refutes elitism by using popular everyday mass produced objects. I feel like initially it was like a, uh, almost a defiance, trying to change what was considered art. They're almost like the punk rockers of art, right? Like these are pieces that are almost like in your face, bold, creative, the colors pop, the, the sharp black lines and stuff like that. Take the mundane. You want to turn it into something fantastical and radical? Then all of a sudden you've got this piece that's pop. I would define pop art as a unique twist or a personal twist on something that's familiar. And so what I mean by that is I take pop art to mean popular art, right? Something that's in the ether, most people know about it. That's why it's popular. But then on the other hand, I also think of pop art, I think of bold, vivid, bright, really sort of vivid color palettes that kind of send a message, almost comic book-esque. That's like the first thing that I think of. That's what, how I would define pop art. So for me, pop art is something that influences me. Most of the work that I do is influenced by something that I've seen visually. So for me, pop art can be borrowed from any type of genre. Uh, really, it's something that speaks to me, but ultimately, I want to speak to the audience as well and have some sort of uh, meaning as far as what is important to them. I guess it would just be popular art or something like that, right? But I would guess it's something that's more, uh, rather than being conceptual, it's something that's more like pop and on the surface and something that just uh, appeals visually, but not in like an abstract way. So it's like some sort of a uh, loud, bold image. I mean, it's super easy to mention the bright colors and the aesthetics of the whole thing and like the graphic nature of pop art but I'm super drawn to the idea of glorifying these commodities that are going on within whatever culture it's responding to so I think it takes the culture and it puts it in this light that you wouldn't normally see, you'd see kind of in like a, a theatrical or an animated setting in it. I think that's what I like about it. And I love inanimate objects. It's funny to me that the people that were creating pop art at the time were kind of like considered lowbrow artists. Like what's with the soup cans, dude? But now, I don't know, you look back at everything in hindsight. I would define pop art with work that used familiar imagery have a certain amount of playfulness, an interactive relationship or reflectiveness with contemporary culture. Uh, for me, it's what it sounds like. It's something that you see, and if you ask somebody around the corner, something somebody else may have seen it. Something that's popular, something that catches your eyes, something that's fluid that it's so catchy that sometimes you wish you could have made it yourself. I define pop art as an aggressive and an emblematic style, first of all. Somehow connects popular culture through colors and emblematic themes. Uh, the performance of the artist through this 
style for me is someone who is connected to reality and surroundings. That's how I define pop art. I just think bold, bold colors, bold uh, British typography, bold images, a throwback or, or whatnot to a, a product or something. You know, I mean, everybody, people have a, a different way. People want to always familiarize yourself with the pop art that's always been out there. And I tend to want to like play around with it more. I mean, you know, take it a little bit further, like something you haven't seen, you still have a little bit of a couple of elements into it, but you know, just put my own twist onto it. I define pop art as, I mean, it's pretty basic. It's just like, it's popular culture, like iconic imagery of like American, I use a lot of American pop culture, but obviously there's every, every culture has their pop images. And it's, I think it's brightly vivid colors and then just um, pop culture images. And I like to throw like a clever kind of wit and um, kind of a funniness sometimes into them. So that's kind of what it is for me. For me, back in the day, pop art was popular culture, but I think nowadays it's more of a commentary. It's like making a statement about something that you feel strongly about, or a lot of times I think pop art is meant to be funny, but it seems like nowadays it's more political or sarcastic. My pop art personally is fun, and so I think it's basically making a comment about something without actually using words. And the imagery, you can kind of just take from it what you feel like is what the artist is saying. I try not to put too much of what I'm feeling in my definition because to me it's whatever the viewer sees in it. Pop art has a message but there's a, a satirical part and I think a lot of people kind of miss or underestimate pop art because they only see that kind of candy coated facade and they miss the whole underlying thing of, of what is pop art extracting the bare bones of a subject. I define pop art as anything that just takes reference or influence from pop culture that's the you know short definition of it but i think what pop culture is is something that's constantly evolving it's something that meant you know one thing 30 50 years ago and that's completely changed nowadays especially we, we used to have really only music and movies to kind of pull influence from now we have the influence of social media, 24 hour news cycle. There's just a lot of different things that are constantly being fed to the majority of people, which in my view, I think that that is pop culture. A lot of people now have different things to draw from. So it's really expanded the genre into something that, you know, I don't think people really would have guessed that this is where the medium would have gotten to.